welcome in PLC Smart Tip video. In this video we show how you can use PLC data type in your PLC program. Uh, you can use PLC data type when you use a set of variables with the same parameters for example. Ok, in this video we show for example we have the some motors and for these motors we create the PLC data types. So to create the PLC data type, you just click on the add new data type. Double click and you change the name. We choose motor as the name. OK. And here you can define the variables of your data type. So for example, variable with name start of data type bool, then stop then rpm of data type real and for example state of data type bool <clears throat> okay now we define the our plc data type motor now we can use this data type in data block for example db6 variables here we create structure with name motors and inside the structure we insert the motors which have the data type motor which is PLC data type so for example motor number one of data type motor and how you can see we define the name of the variable and UDT data type and then you see here we have the our PLC data types values variables sorry so start stop RPM and state same we can do for the motor number two and motor number three ATC all of these have the same variables because they have the same data type of PLC data type motor. And normally you can use it in your PLC software. So for example, we call DB6 structure motors, variable motor number one and the variable start. And how you can see, you can normally use it same the real variable of your motor number one db6 motors motor number one and rpm for example 1200 okay in this this is how you can use udt types in your plc software and program how you can see if you use the set of the same <coughs> variables it's more easy to use UDT sorry it's more easy to use PLC data types in your PLC software so thank you for watching this video and goodbye